Hey guys, Logger John here. And it's a Wednesday morning, January the 20th. It's about 8.30. And I'm just doing a quick wood pile update. It's uh, snowing lightly. The sun is coming up, as you can see over there. It's supposed to be a mix of sun and cloud. We got quite a bit of snow. We got about a couple centimeters last night. But all together we have about six to eight inches of snow. So, I've been busy, as you can see. Uh, this is my own personal stash of wood here that I use for myself. Um, if you remember all the alums I cut this year, this winter, and uh, last fall, I ended up cutting uh, 16 dead alums, and I cut them up and I split them all last Thursday. I split all day. Well, I'd, actually, I didn't split. Yeah, I split all day Thursday, and I split till noon last Friday, and then Friday afternoon I stacked it all up. There is three rows here, all the way up to there. It's about, uh, I would say, 95% alum. And then there's some black cherry. If you remember the black cherries I cut. And there's a little bit, there's a couple sticks of basswood. So there's, I think I ended up with, there's probably three and a half full cubic cord there, at least. It's more than four feet high. It's closer to five feet. So we have all that. And then I have this pile from last year. It's a mixture of alum and pine and hemlock in there. And I guess if you go way down there to the end, right there, past the new stuff, there's some uh, pine. So all this wood here will be for me for next year. And if we move over here, we have all this here. There's three rows right there. All the way down to there. It's uh, hickory, ash, maple, oak, a little bit of birch, black cherry. There's a little bit of black cherry in there, some ironwood. As you can see right here, I was plowing snow last Saturday and I hit the wood pile and knocked some of it over. So there's all that there. And then if we move over here, we have all this. So yesterday, <clears throat> excuse me, yesterday and the day before. On Monday I started splitting this. I didn't start splitting till about 10.30. I started at 10.30 in the morning till about 4.30 in the afternoon. And then yesterday I split from 8 o'clock till 4.30. Mine is lunch, of course. We got all this split. And then I started splitting this pile over here. So we still have this to do, which I'm going to work on later.
Hey guys, Logger John here. It's a nice day here in eastern Ontario. The sun's out. It's cold. It's uh, Saturday, January the 23rd. It's about uh, 1230 or so. Well, it's actually closer to 1 I think, but I went and had my lunch. So I started splitting wood this morning around uh, 8.30. It was minus 25 this morning with the wind chill. Right now it's a, maybe minus 12 or 14 with the wind chill. It's not too bad with the sun out. So I got this left to do. I split all this. Not today. <laughs> I split all day yesterday and I split a little bit on uh, Thursday, late Thursday afternoon. I started splitting this pile and we got that split there. I'm just doing a quick update. I hope you can hear me. The wind is a bit strong. I'll try to stand still. Got that split. It's probably about three hours of splitting left to do there. So let me think here for a second. So I started this on Monday. I split a half a day Monday. And then I split all day Tuesday. I split a half a day Wednesday. And I split a half a day Thursday, and I split all day Friday, and I'm going to split all day today, so...
Okay guys, Logger John here, and it's Sunday, January the 24th. It's a bright sunny day, but it is cold. You can hear the wind, I hope you can hear me. Doing a, another wood update, a quick one. It's about minus 12 right now, but with the wind chill, it's about minus 20. It's around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. As you can see, I got this pile of wood split. I worked on it all day yesterday. Worked till about almost five o'clock last night. I wanted to get it done, but unfortunately I didn't get it done. I basically had about 12 big ash blocks to split left last night. It was getting dark and cold. I finished uh, splitting them this morning. This morning it was minus 28 with the wind chill at my house. But the sun was out, so it wasn't too bad. So I, spl I finished splitting the blocks this morning. I wanted to get it done. So as you can see, it's a good pile of wood. And of course I have that over there. And the other pile over there. And then I have my own wood up there, of course. All I have left to split is some of this stuff here. I might do that maybe tomorrow. There's some ash and some alum. I'm gonna split that. And I'm just gonna toss it over there in that pile, I guess. Okay, guys. I'm hoping to go out and cut some more. Uh, just over here, there's another dead hellum to cut right near where I cut that big one. I might try going over, I might try uh, doing that this week sometime. We have a quite a bit of snow, but uh, should be okay going through it. It's just, it's just over there. It's a bit of a tricky one. It's not too big, but it's a bit of a tricky one, like I said. Yeah, okay guys. There's a good assortment of wood here. We have uh, ash, hickory, maple, some ironwood, white birch, black cherry, oak, a little bit of alum. What else? I think that's about it. A lot of ash, a lot of hickory, a lot of maple. The same with that pile over there. Yeah. Okay guys, well thanks a lot for uh, hanging out and uh, watching my videos. Don't forget to hit the like button and uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I sure appreciate everybody watching my videos and uh, I try to make a good variety of different videos over the course of the year. I will be making some more uh, wood cutting videos but uh, as you can see the snow kind of put a hamper on that but uh, like I said I'm going to try to go over there this week and get that alum. And a few more little trees around. There's a couple little, well, this is, like I said, there's the alum. There's two alums, actually. There's a big one and a smaller one right there. But we'll see how deep, we'll see how the tractor works in the deep snow. But as far as going up to my other property, uh, it's kind of on hold right now. I can't, I can't really get in there with a truck and trailer too easily. But, uh, okay, guys. 
Thanks a lot for watching. We'll talk to you later.